The role of MPLS there is uh, very, very interesting because it allows um, a much simpler provisioning and the ability to handle larger amounts of traffic from more users, from more sophisticated users, and to do this in a way that simply extends the service tunnels that are already being created in the edge and the core of the network all the way out to the access. So there are fewer provisioning points and a much greater amount of flexibility in the access network. Um, the seamless MPLS uh, uh, project has been going on for several years now and, and Juniper has um, spearheaded that and our recent enhancements allow us to take it all the way out to our access routers and to be able to thus differentiate um, users or groups of users and traffic engineer in that part of the network um, in a way that hasn't been possible before. Um, Infinetics has uh, done a study where they have, first of all, demonstrated a trend which is, is very, very obvious that things are moving from TDM to Ethernet. That, that ship has already sailed, so to speak, and, and that's all already happening. So Ethernet is the transport of choice, and carrier Ethernet um, connections are going to be there within the access layer. Um, they are also finding that service providers, because they need, uh, because of all the additional bandwidth and the additional services that they want to support, are very, very interested and 70 percent estimate that they're going from, um, from just pure layer two access to some form of Ethernet, I mean some form of MPLS access in that part of the network um, in order to be able to just have, have greater control over uh, the traffic and the users. The story really begins with convergence writ large, and we have seen that before with our Universal Edge uh, solution that we've had on the MX series. And what that does is converges the requirements of residential, mobile, and business users. Um, and that's a network simplification, it's a clear operational advantage. Um, carriers need that in order to be able to better use their own resources in maintaining the network. As we move out towards the access, those networks um, continue to be disparate uh, with different technologies used for each. And so we've built a platform that's capable of handling all of those different areas, residential, business, and mobile within the access layer. And that's our ACX series router, which is the anchor point of our entire universal access solution. So the ACX series router is, first of all, it's very, very high bandwidth. It's a 60 gigabit per second platform. Um, it supports 10 gigabit per second links all the way out to the access rings that are in far-flung regions outside metro areas. Um, the other thing, as we discussed, it has the service flexibility with the MPLS, um, and it also has a very sophisticated timing system. As you go from uh, TDM-based timing to Ethernet-based timing, um, you really don't want to lose everything that you loved from your old uh, networks. And um, there are various technologies for taking care of that problem. One of them is synchronous Ethernet. And that gives you a good capability across network boundaries. Um, but what you also need is a technology called 1588, which gives you very tight frequency synchronization. Um, Juniper has 1588 technology built right into the ACX series access routers. And um, we ha also have probes into that technology that allow us to, using our management system, monitor what's going on um, on those individual devices. So as you start to see some delay or jitter, some variations that you don't like, you can make adjustments on the fly um, before you start to see lower quality of experience from individual users or dropped calls or any of that kind of stuff.